Hello, I'm John Abdo, inventor of the Abdoer. I always knew the Abdoer would help millions of people around the world. What I didn't know is how long it would stay in the marketplace. It's been 20 years, so whether you're upgrading from a previous version or your brand new Doer, I want to give you the confidence that the Abdoer 360 is the best version ever. Before we actually get into the Abdobix routine to start losing pounds and inches all over your body, let me show you how to correctly assemble the Abdoer, which is very important. First, what I did is unpack all the materials out of the box. I spread everything out. You could do it on a table or on the floor. Make sure all the pieces are there. Get familiar with your Abdur because this is a product that's gonna last you a lifetime. So what I did, I unpacked everything, set everything in proper order. And what you also need to do is take a look and read thoroughly the manual. It's got the quick start guide in there, the accelerated results program, the eating program, absolutely fantastic. Get yourself educated on you because you will become a better person each and every day by using the Abdur, following the exercise and nutritional protocol and the lifestyle protocol that allows you to become the doer that you will become. The actual DVD itself has several routines in there. Obviously we're starting out with the let's get started, the assembly, a DVD, then we go into a beginner, intermediate, and advanced abdobics routine. You start at your fitness level and you progress accordingly. We have guidelines in the manual and also posted online. Here's where we start. We have the main base frame laying in a flat position. This is how you could store it. Obviously, this is how you get it out of the box. Pre-assembled at the factory are these two knob insert pins right here. So what you wanna do is pull them out right in here and take the main base frame, open it up until you hear it click. And now what you do is simply put the insert pin back in. That's done. Open this up till it stops. Again, the round insert pin, because we have several insert pins here. This will go into place right there. You want it snug, so if, it, if it's a little hard to get in, that's great because it's gonna be really hard or impossible to get out. Also supply with your Abdur are some nice wrenches here, different sizes because there's bolts all over the machine. Some bolts are already pre-assembled at the factory, but from time to time, check those bolts just so they don't reverse loosen on yourself. And I actually brought my own wrench because I'm a little bit of a handyman and I like using this tool myself. So what we're gonna do here, after we have the main base frame assembled, we want to look at the main base swivel seat. You can see the swivel action here. Beautiful action, and this allows you to have part of the 360 function. It actually revolves in both directions, right and left. But what you want to do is always get those center markings in the front. And the way to do that, I'm going to hold this up here for the camera. The way you do that is reach underneath, and you see this little hole right here? Actually, you could feel that right in the center. So when you get familiar with your abdur, if it's off to the side, it's way out of position, always bring it to the center point. And I'll show you about the other seat as well. So now, once you have the main base assembled, now you have the core support column. Very, very important. Let's put that on top of the seat for a second. And pre-assembled just very loosely at the factory is this nut, bolt, and washer. I'm gonna take this off here and I want the camera to zoom in on, on these three features right here. Okay, the nut, the bolt, and the washer right here. So let's put that down for a second. And now what we want to do is take off this twister tie right here because it's holding this plastic gasket on there to give it some more snugness and slide it in here. Again, snug is good. So it's going to fit a little snug in the bottom front hole right there. So insert the bolt right in there. Sometimes it's real snug. You may have to tap it with a hammer. Put the washer in next right there, and then the bolt, and here's where the wrenches come in handy, okay? So what I want you to do before you actually tighten it up, take one of the oval insert pins and put it right there. That locks the core support column in place, so it's not gonna be flimsy right there. It locks it in place. And then what you wanna do is take both of the wrenches, and put one on the back here to hold this in place, and then my handy dandy crescent wrench right here. I'm gonna tighten it up right in there. And you wanna tighten it pretty snug. If you're not strong enough, just go as tight as you can. But again, check the unit occasionally from time to time to make sure that the unit is put together. I'm gonna give it a little snug here. Okay, so that's done right there. The next step I wanna show you, and these may not follow exactly the step-by-steps in the manual, either way, it's all gonna work. 
we have the dynamic fluidity seat with the concealed air bladder. It's an instability capsule. Now I want to remove this right here because both of these actually contain a lot of wobble ability to it. And you will see that on this capsule here, you see an insert hole right here. The air pressure is already pre-filled at the factory. This is the degree that we want it. I've tested higher, lower. This is where you want to have it. But if you have an air pump, you could take the air pump and actually inflate more air into it. Again, I would just use what was pre-filled at the factory. So what you want to do is go underneath and you see Velcro here, Velcro there, put it directly in the middle. So now it fits center and it's real easy to put it out of center. So put it right in the center and on the top of the actual dynamic fluidity seat, really soft, durable, comfortable material. You can see how it bends in all directions and that's what's gonna happen when you sit on it for your buttocks, pelvis, and hamstrings. The comfort groove right here removes the pressure off the tailbone and the whole groin area. There's a lot of sensitive muscles, tendons, ligaments, nerve fibers, and the capillaries in that groin area. So we're gonna take all the pressure off that and this is anatomically designed to make it safer, easier, and more effective for yourself. So in order to align the seat properly, I just wanna move the unit for a better camera angle. We're gonna look at the center markings or the triangular marks right here. So get one right on top of the other, put the seat directly in the center, and there you go. But also make sure that it's aligned center as you rotate from side to side. So the dynamic fluidity seat on top of the swivel base gives you complete functionality in all directions. Beautiful motion, soft, comfortable, safe. Again, takes the pressure off the tailbone and all the sensitive tissues and nerves in the groin and crotch area. The adductor mound allows you to do adduction and abduction as you swivel from side to side. Okay, let me rotate this back. So the next step we're gonna put on the contouring arm bars. Grab another one of the oblong insert pins. Let's grab the contouring arm bars. Let's remember to always have the arm bars as they're ascending away from the body to go up. Not this way. A lot of people have put them on incorrectly. They go, it doesn't feel right. And the reason is because it's not on correctly. So let's put it, we have a telescopic adjustment here. I'm gonna put it at kind of like a upper slot right here. You could adjust it for your height. And I suggest each workout, make it higher, make it lower for yourself. Now I'm gonna also put on the uh, massage roller, the last oblong or oval insert pin. I'm gonna put this on the lower hole right here. And now that assembly is put together. And last but not least, the handles. And you can see the handles are marked L for left, obviously, R for right. And what we wanna do, this insert pin here, spring loaded. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. I'm gonna push this in, the insert pin in, and slides right in and wait for that click. Right there. She's in place, she's not gonna go anywhere. Same thing with the right side. I'm gonna push the insert pin in here, wiggle it around. I actually could see this. Now she's in place. Beautiful. Everything is in proper position. Now some of the actual safety techniques, whenever you mount and dismount the abdur, you want to back into it and sit down. A lot of moving parts on the abdur. So you want to make sure that it's a safe and comfortable environment for you. Never mount and or dismount the abdur off the side with the arm bars down. You want to be able to actually hold on to the arm bars and sit down and the same thing with dismounting. If the machine is tilted all the way to one side, you don't want to sit on it this way. Obviously, the adductor mount is going to dig into one hamstring or the other if you have it in an, in an incorrect position. So always align it center, mount and dismount on straight, off straight at the same time. So now, with the contouring arm bar, the actual design is that it rotates freely up and down. And the beautiful thing about this, there is a little bit of resistance here. I'm putting a little muscle behind this and it's made for a reason. It's not made to lock into position. And that little bit of resistance is gonna work your shoulders, your arms, your upper back, and your chest muscles as you're doing abdobics, which you'll see in the routines that follow. And at the same time, because of the contouring design, they don't just look good, they actually have anatomical functionality. They take pressure 
off the shoulder joint, the elbows, and the wrist and the hands. The dynamic grip handles, you can see how we have it grooved out here. So you could actually get a nice grip inside there because as you're doing abdobics, you're gonna be muscling with your upper body. So you need a strong grip and your upper body needs to be secure. Now, one of the other things, I'm gonna lower the arm bar here. One of the other things with the, with the abdur and the arm bars, when the arm bars are in an upright position here and you're sitting inside there, the arm bars are underneath the armpits. It actually decompresses the spinal column. So now you can't slouch, you're in an upright position. And the core support column is your spinal column. If this forearm here is my spinal column, what it does as I bend forward, the abdur follows with you, the core support column. As I bend to one side, it follows with you. If I wanna go in a circle, the abdur follows follows you. So you have resistance in tandem. Whatever position you go in, it's absolutely amazing. And that's one of the main reasons why Abdur has been in the marketplace for over 20 years. So I always suggest that you utilize the Abdur on a carpeted or rubberized surface. These cleats right here, they're engineered to grip any type of flooring, most flooring. But I do suggest carpet or rubberized surface. The cleats here do rotate, so if there is any unevenness here, I'm gonna rotate it and exaggerate it. See how uneven it is right there? And obviously, of two or three of them, it's like having one flat tire in your car. But simply rotate it around, and now I'm back to even, very solid. And so it's very easy to adjust. The abdur actually has adjustability everywhere. And just to show you the bottom of the cleat, here's the cleat right here very well engineered, and again, it rotates from side to side, very easy to maneuver. If you pick it up, maybe sometimes these may slide off, but that's okay, because they are removable. You may wanna wash them, but at the same time, if they're on tile, concrete, or any type of wood surface, they may have a tendency to slide. And last but not least, let's talk about the dual foam roller system. This is absolutely amazing. The previous Abdur versions had one roller, now we have two rollers because what you wanna do, you wanna massage both sides of the spinal column. So as I'm moving forward, again, this is my spinal column, the massage roller is rubbing my back as I'm going forward and even backward. The more pressure you put into it, the more of a massage you get. It's absolutely amazing. Not just forward and backward, any motion you get into, as long as you're making contact with the foam rollers, you are getting a massage. So. Now that the abdur is put together, you did a, a complete abdobics unit, let's say you want to store it, very, very simple. I would take off the massage roller, take off the insert pin, but put it back in so you don't lose it, it's in the right place. The arm bars are in their proper position. Let's take the insert pin off of the core support column, okay, it's right in place. Now remove the ball headed pin right here, fold her down this way, look at this, this way, and there you go. It's very compact. You could take the arm bars off if you want to make it even lower to the ground. I would put these insert pins anywhere. They actually fit anywhere on the unit. There you go for storage or transportability.